Today's video is brought to you by OldSchoolGaming.net, the online resource for all your tabletop gaming needs. At OldSchoolGaming.net, customers get store credit with every purchase. Great prices, fast shipping, and customer rewards. OldSchoolGaming.net Hey guys, MTG Noob here. On the draw, uh, I have to mulligan this. This is better, but not amazing. Um, I do like the fact that I have this and this in hand. He has 41 cards, which makes me auto assume that he is playing Control, Demir, or Simic. Um, hopefully it's Demir, because if it's Simic, we're in trouble. All right, that's problematic for us. Uh, we're two turns off from killing that. Um, but he is two turns off from really using that well to his advantage. Um, so maybe he gets one other guy who does things. Yeesh. Yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. Okay. We're going to bash here. If he double blocks, we blow him out. So I don't think he blocks at all. Now he is a little bit color screwed, so we might want to just fight now. Um, but I, I think we're going to develop our board a little bit. God, I keep saying color screwed, but I mean mana screwed. Okay, so he hits his third land, and he'll probably go to combat with both. Um, okay, just the guild mage, that's fine. That means he wants to pump here. God, we are just so red screwed constantly. Getting a little bit annoying. Yeah, we're going to probably spend our turn. Okay. We'll pass priority. He's going to have to sink some mana in here. Um. It'll be a 3-5. Problem with this is if he has rapid hybridization. Oh wow, I just messed up big time. Okay, we traded out there for absolutely no reason. That was a huge misplay for no reason. I don't know why, I think it's because I was exercising. <laughs> that was just awful. I'm kind of hoping he has no follow-up here, but come on, let's be realistic. I should have just martial gloried there. Like a hundred percent should have martial gloried. I have no idea what kind of crazy things I was thinking. Okay. That's good, but that doesn't really do much. <clears throat> Alright, I have to refocus myself as this just became a train wreck that we could have easily won this game if I didn't do that like 100% because now we can't swing, we can't do anything um, I think we just pit fight this and hope to land a cyclops and pass we, we blew that big time no doubt about it did we just blow that so bad but, you know, sometimes in games you make mistakes, and uh, you got to try to fight through it. For some reason, I thought he was getting three, four toughness. Okay, now he's just going to card advantage the hell out of us, which is fine. We're going to take... All right, so cipher, cipher, draw all your cards, win. <laughs> I think we could still win game two. Hopefully there's no follow-up player. Come on, Haster. Ugh, Sarichi. Oh, Zerichi. What are we thinking? Good news is we could double block here, but I think we're just really blown out this game already. That was just so stupid. I'm just very frustrated with myself right now. Apparently I should not work out <laughs> in between rounds. I'm just very fat. 
Uh, we double block here, he slaughter horns and kills both our guys, and we don't kill him. I think, uh, I'm gonna take this. He can have all the cards he wants. We're still in this, but it's looking pretty bad. Like, next turn, we still have, like, martial glory and stuff like that. And if we had a red source, we still have madcap skills, martial glory, so we're not completely out of it. Oof, what is that? Yeah, that's a problem. Ugh, all the fives. All of them. Okay, we got a pass here. All the fives. We're da I think we're swapping out of planes for a mountain. This game should have been ours. A hundred percent. Okay, we double block. Sure, put your guys in the islands. He's probably just going upstairs with this anyway. Okay, we'll gain two life, see if he wants to respond. And then, unfortunately we have to do this. So we'll go power, toughness. And hopefully if we get lucky he won't kill our guy here. But I have to assume something bad's going to happen with five cards in hand. Five cards in hand is usually doom. Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. Pit fight. You got it. You've got it, friend. Okay. Alright, so he's a slow deck. That was just super trash mows by me. I 100% apologize. Because at this point now, I'm starting to try to play better, so your enjoyment is there, but that was just disgustingly bad. Alright, um, I think this trades out too easily. I don't really think Nightwatch is amazing against Simic, though. So this blocks pretty well, um, but it does trade out pretty easily. But with three Martial Glories, I think we're fine. I think we're going to cut this Nightwatch and just go back to battle. All right, back to action. We'll play and whew. do nothing. Hand against Simic equals ship a zoo. Okay, this is not great, but we got to keep this. And once again, we have too many planes and not enough mountains, but it's all good. We're gonna hopefully get in here. Let's get in here, guys. Come on, we can do this. We can do it. I'm pep talking myself. All right, that's a draw. I'm gonna play both my red and um, white lands first because I don't care if he thinks I'm color screwed because there's no point. Um, because I need both because we have a lot of double red, double white spells. All right, he might shamble shark it here, but there's nothing I could do about that. We have a replacement syndic of tithes, so all good in the hood. I don't think he wants to shamble shark block there anyway, to be perfectly honest. I think he wants to shamble shark grow. Okay, well, no shark. That's always good. All right. Maybe he's just land screwed? Fingers are crossed. I'm cheating with my fingers being crossed. Oh, he got me. Never wish ill on somebody. Then it never works out. <laughs> never works out in your favor. Okay, so he's got experiment one, which trades out with this, unfortunately. Let's see if we rip. Oh, oh good rips are good. You know what? I'm going to play around spell rupture here. Um as it is what it is. I don't want to get my Sky Knight Legionnaire countered. We do miss one point of extort damage, which may down the road hurt us. But currently, I think it's fine. Um, because if we tap there and then he spell ruptures, we just get GG'd Ugh, every time. Every time. Alright, now it's our turn to top deck. Top deck Martial Glory. Do it. 
pit fight, anything, Ember Beast is not the top deck that we want. He blocks, trades, I wonder if he's got pump here. Eesh, 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 eesh. Damn it, man. There's no way he didn't just top that, because you just play this on turn three. All right. <clears throat> I am slightly worried, but I th think we bash team here, and if he's got pump, he's got pump. I think he probably just kills this, kills this. And I think I'm okay with bashing with team here because of the fact that like we're going to miss another point of extort, but I think we probably want to drop the Millennium Gargoyle instead of the Ember Beast. It depends. If he's got the pump spell, he's got the pump spell. Burst of Strength, he might have it, and then we're just like really in trouble. So hopefully he doesn't have it. Okay. Okay, so he doesn't have it. I think all the flyers is where we want to be at. Because he can technically only block one currently, unless he's got another croc here. Or he taps out for a swimmer. Okay, that does nothing for you. It does evolve your croc. You get to kill one of my guys. But you'll be at two. That was a good draw. That was a good draw. Alright, I believe this gets eaten. Goes to four. And we play another flyer. All the flyers. Or he goes to three, excuse me. Takes four. Come on, all the flyers. No more crocs. No more blocks. God, if he taps out for a big Nimbus Swimmer here, we might be in trouble. But I have to assume... Ugh, yeesh. Oh my god. We've drawn well. I can't honestly complain about this. Ooh. Ooh. That is bad news bears for us, actually. That one point of extort would have uh, won us the game, in case... In case you're not paying attention. Come on, Martial Glory. Pump spell, anything. Active Treason works. Active Treason works fine. Okay, top decks! <clears throat> Alright, we gotta cut. We gotta cut a play since this has been ridiculous. God, our deck just drew ridiculous there. Just so ridiculous. <clears throat> Alright, I'm trying to see if there's anything we want. I don't know. I kind of felt like I wanted the Night Watch there, but... Pretty good Air Force. I don't think we want the Night Watch over the Active Treason, as you see. The Active Treason just pretty much won us the game there. Um, Shielded Passage is a thing, but not so much. Righteous Charge probably isn't good against Simic. Night Watch probably is good, but can we find anywhere? Didn't see any artifacts. Burning Tree is good, but Clust Double Red, no. March for Death's a thing. I mean, maybe March for Death is decent in this matchup. Fortress Cyclops does not seem as good originally, but I think we just run it back. I really do like having this Night Watch, though. <clears throat> maybe Zerichi just gets outclassed. He just seems like he's got a lot of big dudes. You know what? I think we're running Night Watch over Zerichi. Um, I don't think this is the matchup for Zerichi. All right, here we go. Well, we gave away game one, and we got lucky with game two, and now we have an interesting one. I think I keep this. Um, 
We have Boros Charm, which is always pretty nice. It's a little bit slow. Hopefully we draw a 2-drop here. That's a 5-drop. <laughs> Newsflash. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> Newsflash. Too many 5s. Too many 5s. Don't play a Sprite. I mean, there's nothing else he could potentially play there. I just don't want him to be able to trade out with this. Okay, well, another land's another land. Next turn we're going to be bashing. My only concern is he goes Hands of Binding on our guys. And beats our head in. Don't play Kraka Nora. Oh, ooh, that's a good sign. That is a very good sign. That is an excellent sign. That was an excellent sign. Okay, we'll probably be doing this. Depends on if he hits land here or not. He might have to hold back. He must have another one. Okay, come on, creature. Blood sauce. I'm not going to waste my pump at all. Next turn, <clears throat> I'm going to be dropping Cyclops. Currently racing, but I don't think he realizes what I have in hand. He must have a spell rupture. You know what, the fact that I think he has a spell rupture, I'm just going to play around it. We're adding power to the board. I think it's fine. Oops. I don't see how he doesn't he keeps this hand otherwise. I mean we're not gonna lose to this. We're gonna lose to when he finally throws down something that gets in the way, and he's gotta tap out <clears throat> for something. I was just sending these nerds. I think it's worth... I want to say it's worth playing around the Spell Rupture to just kill him. We could have went for it there. But I, th I think we're just going to be disciplined here. Wait for him to tap out for something. Like the only way we lose this now is if he had the hands of binding. Like on our turn, we're gonna angelic edict and get him in, and hopefully rip a land. Like we're just not losing to this sprite. It's just not happening. And like whatever threat he plays here, if it's large, we just remove it with our angelic edict. That's interesting. That's fine. Indestructible. We could have just let him um, tap out there, pump his guy, but it's fine. All right, I think we got this. I think we're good here. I think we're going to the finals, even though we clearly threw away game one. I don't know what he could possibly have, what combination he could possibly have that saves him from all of this. That's fine. Okay, two guys. That's fine. You have a two-two. Let's get this out of the way. And that's game. Hmm. I guess it's not actually game. We're a bit short. 
but that's close to game. Okay, we're gonna play the skin brand goblin here. We're just gonna we're not gonna put him to one. There's no point in putting him to one. Like if he has diluvian primordial off the top and he edicts this, it's fine. I still have all that power on the board. I still have lethal on the board here. Like let's say his top deck is Diluvian Primordial, he Angelic Edicts this, and I still have all this. Still have all these. Still have all these martial glories. I'm a nerd. I have nerdy martial glories. Okay, and our opponent scoops. Well, after being terrible, game one, we pulled off games two and three. Um... I'm probably not going to be working out in between rounds anymore, but thanks for watching, and please check out the mtgnoob.com.